Who's that Pokemon? It's Iwanko. Who is this Pokemon? It's Nekowala. Good morning, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. I'm your host, the Spider King, and welcome to another serious Pokemon discussion. I think... 10. It's 10. And, as you saw in the beginning of the video, <clears throat> two new possible Pokemon. Nekowala and Iwanko. Now, the two names are very unusual. Uh, specifically, Nekowala, being that his name sounds like the Japanese word for cat, and his last name being a koala. So, let's get right down to the nitty gritty of it. What if it, his last evolution was with his name, being that he'd become a koala cat, or a cat koala? Let's imagine, shall we? The possibilities of that unusual looking thing. Hmm. I can't imagine it, because it would look too weird. But back to the real point of this. My thoughts on what I saw from the picture, what I imagine him being, because they, it lists him as a, what was it? Ah, a normal type. Very odd, but very interesting that they would do that. Especially being the fact that he's holding a weird looking, uh, weird looking tree stump. A tree stump, mind you, that doesn't look ordinary. If I can find the picture again. Ah, here it is. Yes. This tree stump. Now, this. Right here, this. That he's holding. Now let's take to your mind and imagine his first evolution is normal type, right? Now, what if he evolved in the same way as Pancham? How, with Pancham, you need a Dark-type Pokemon in your party for him to evolve into Pangoro, fighting Dark-type. And, the same thing would apply if Nekowala had the same... same thing. Because, he's holding a tree stump, and that makes me think, what if he becomes a Grass-type? Because, koalas spend most of their lives in the trees. And being that they spend their most of their lives in the trees, you think he'd become a grass type. This is where I got to thinking. I'm doing a video. Distractions aside. Yeah, they spend most of their lives in the, in the trees, so why not be a grass type? And the same thing applies again. He would need a grass type Pokemon in your, you need a grass type Pokemon in your party, this is just a thought, a theory, in your party for him to evolve into a grass normal or normal grass. Normal grass. <clears throat> I can't talk today. Again, thank goodness I have water. Thank goodness. Nothing like some water to clear your pipes. Don't take that the wrong way. So as I was saying, the same thing applies. And it might be interesting to see this same recurring theme. I mean, they did, they did an unusual little mechanic feature where you have to have a dark type Pokemon in your party in order for a Pancham to evolve. And in order to make an Inke evolve into a Malamar, you need to flip your 3DS or 2DS upside down. Now I thought that's that's unique. I never thought of something like that. Hey, the same thing could happen. Or we could get a weird uh, reverse Inke. When I get a key. Oh yeah, sure I will. Mm. Hey. Mm. Hey everybody, I missed this Steven uh I missed this recording up. I don't care, I'm still going. Hey. Still going. What are we talking about? You wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, let's walk a marathon, yo. Talk about it. Mm. 
So this got to let me thinking, if they're gonna add a koala into the game, which is odd because it's Hawaii. I did talk about this in part two, where I said, what if we had a wallaby, a rock wallaby, Australia? And to see that they're bringing in a koala, well, that just kind of almost proves what I was th just saying. It's like, hmm. I, uh, I guess that, didn't I? Or I pretty much predicted that would happen. So with a koala and a possibility of a wallaby being in the game, it also makes me wonder, what do you got planned for us, Nintendo? Because usually Nintendo or Game Freak, you know, hints at different Pokemon being in movies, and you're like, hmm, that's an unusual Pokemon. That's never been in this generation. I've never heard of this one. Are they hinting at something? Ergo, Blaziken in the Johto League when Ash fought against that guy and he lost. And he had the clear... The stupidest plot twist was in that, if you've seen it, if you know the episode I'm talking about, Ash could have won because Charizard being a fly, uh, fire flying type and Blaziken being a, you know, firefighting. He could have won that with a seismic toss or any flying type move, but Ash was young and stupid and he still kinda is, but he's gotten better over the time, over the years. So with that being said, a hint, a koala could be, as I said in a video about different regions, future regions I could see, Australia is one of them. And with the koala, if being real, in these pictures that I showed being real, then we could be in for some next level stuff. It's like, next stop, Australia. I would have done my Australian accent, but I don't feel like it. Plus it's early in the morning. Nobody wants to hear that. Or do you? Do you? Are you really sure you want to hear that? Nah, you're not ready. Moving on. To Iwanko. Now, this was a Pokemon that was teased in the Koro Koro uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon trailer. Right here. If I can get a good picture of it. There. There we go. Right there. Ignore that Shiba Inu. Because that's not what it... It, it kind of looks like the Shiba Inu that we thought we would get, but... Eh, I'm satisfied with it. And what's interesting is... It's classified, or someone translated it saying that it's a rock type. Now, I would think Nekowala would be the rock type, because he's holding a stump that may or may not be a part of the whole, you know, as I said earlier, grass evolutionary line thing. He might be like Sudowoodo, where he becomes a rock type, a normal rock type. Imagine that. That'd be weird. I'm a normal rock type Pokemon. Let's get weird on the evolutionary scale here. Yeah, making Iwonko and leaving Nekowala as a normal type. Making Iwonko as a rock type. I I just can't see it really. I mean he's got the fur, the right fur, but he's got the right fur for a ground type. A rock type doesn't seem to make sense. I mean, what do you think? What do you guys think? It's just weird. And another thing I've noticed, and if this is a real Koro Koro leak or not, this. These three bubbles all filled out with what seems to be a whole bunch of Pokemon. Now, as I said in the, a few other pre... I can't remember the name, number of the video. If you guys remember, please comment down below. I mentioned how different ecosystems, different biomes and habitats equal a wide array of Pokemon living on certain islands. And since we're given four major big islands, with the exception of three more that we don't see, or we do, we do and we don't, we're just shown the four, and those little other tiny little islands on the sides of the four, I don't think those count as seven. Because the professor tells us there's seven islands. Oh, this, this hype. 
I, I just hope these turn out to be real. My excitement and my hype are all... Well, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm gonna have to contain my hype for now. I am the Spider King, and I will see you in the next serious discussion video. Maybe later on today. Bye!